deep in the woods of western Washington, Melody makes its way through the trees. It's Maple Valley's own Zan Fiskum. Practicing for her upcoming tour. And she has a captive audience. She gets so close. One she's gotten close with after moving in. Yeah, so I do like a couple hours of work on the farm a week rent trade and then I'll do a concert for her. She does a farm fair every year. The singer-songwriter lives a life of simplicity. The pace of life is what I like. But it's not without its challenges. Water's off for a little bit. It's actually really not that bad. It's this positive mindset that keeps Fiscum in an industry that these days... I'm gonna break all the Doing what Fiscum does no, comes at a higher cost. It's incredibly expensive for anybody to live. Artists are especially feeling that right now. Baby, baby, can't live without you. Touring still is the major way that artists make money. That's Denise Burnside, the Seattle music industry vet who runs Smash, a nonprofit connecting Washington musicians to healthcare. So tours suddenly became losing. You're still doing it just for promotion, and that's why a lot of artists have canceled touring. But Fiscum's determined to sustain. We're so willing to compromise every ounce of freedom for some control. She's circumventing high gas prices by flying on her three-week tour instead of driving. But airfare isn't cheap either. In fact, it's up 26.5% this year versus last. So Fiscum is packing light. I'm only taking a carry-on to save money. Plus, <laughs> hotel rooms are pricey. Okay, we're here in Alabama. So on her Alabama stop, Fiscum decided to stay with a fan. I have to show you how cute this is. I'm staying in their daughter's bedroom. Um, I think they're 12 and 8, and they made me. Welcome to our room, Zan. How cute is that? And for rising artists with the cuts, music venues like this one in Denver take, she says the cost often outweighs the profit. Did you say you lost money on that show? Yeah, definitely. So in true Fiscum fashion, she found a loophole. Second to last stop on the tour in Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> Playing non-traditional venues like a bookstore. Hey, hi, it's just like asked for donations and stuff, and it was super lucrative and super fun. And, and while Fiscum's empowered by her ability to make it work, also says many of Washington's artists are getting squeezed out. It's really sad to see because some really talented people. That's why Burnside hopes Washingtonians will work to support those talented people. There's such like an excitement from doing shows. And for Fiscum, that excitement keeps the dream alive. And maybe someday she'll be selling out stadiums. But for now, was life and life and she's at peace with a much smaller crowd. This is my life. Maddie White, King 5 News. <laughs>